In this uh, video, we are continuing with our previous example where we accumulated totals using a while loop, but we're going to make it slightly more interesting. So now instead of adding all the values from 1 to 10, we're going to ask the user to give the lower bound and the upper bound, and then we're going to um, calculate the total of all the values between those two given values. So firstly, we have to um, rethink our form because now we want our user to, dis to supply us with two values and for that I'm going to add two numeric up downs so the one will be for the upper bound and the one will be for the lower bound and we can just add some instructions labels so this will be the lower value and that will be the value and we have to change the caption or the text on the button say calculate sum of all values no, values between lower and upper okay so now the whole caption doesn't fit on the button I'm just gonna have I made a spelling mistake have to change the names of the numeric up down so I call it in you the lower and in you the upper right so now we have our form I'm just going to save form and we now have to change the event handle or the button so instead of calculating the total from one to 10, we're now going to let the, the counter go from the lower value, so I'm just going to say lower, to upper. Okay, so I have to declare those variables in lower to upper, and we get the values for those variables from our numeric up down. So I'm going to say lower is equal to numeric up down lower dot value okay and by now we know we have to change the type okay i'm doing something different here from what we've done before and um, this is just to show you that there's more than one way to do the conversion between types so this um, method we use we call casting so we are I'm casting this value as an integer. So this brackets integer will change the value, value which is actually a decimal, to an integer before assigning it to lower. And we do the same with upper, it's equal to make int of upper value. Now in the while, the counter will go from lower to upper instead of from 1 to 10. Then with each iteration it will add the current value of counter to the sum, so just as before, and counter will be increased by 1. Okay. So and then finally we just display the answer in the message box. So I'm just gonna run this so that we test it. So if I now say lower is 10 and upper is 20 and I click on this it tells me the sum is 165 so the counter variable went from 10 to 20 and with each iteration of the while loop a value has been added to the sum variable so there's one thing that we didn't make provision for here and that is if we put in 
a bigger lower value than an upper value. The program won't give a mistake or an error. It will just give us that the sum between those values is zero. So ideally, if this is the case, we actually should catch the error and give a message. So how would one do that? You can put an if statement here which says if lower is greater than upper and we can say message box show invalid input or something or you can be more specific and say the lower value is higher okay and then else Now we can put everything else within brackets. Okay. So in this case, the actual work will only be done if the input is valid. So if we run it now, and we say the lower bound is 20 and the upper bound is 5, for example, it will give us the message invalid input. Okay. If we change it, 5 to 200 for example oh I set the upper of the um, numeric up down to 100 oh I didn't set it. it was must have been the default value okay let's just see what happened now I put a 200 in there and it automatically changed it to 100 so I want to show you why if we go to the form if we go to upper, if you go look at the maximum value here, you will see it is by default set to 100, which means we can't give a value bigger than 100. So if you want to allow a value bigger than 100, you have to change that. Okay, so I've now changed it to 1000. So now we can say if, say, lower is 100 and upper is 999. Okay, it gives us that the sum is that. So it calculated the sum between those two values. 